Hello viewers, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you, I'll make this tutorial part one of setting up the textures to suit UDK Unreal Development Kit with 3ds Max um, because most of the models that you get you'll find haven't got the file types that UDK take and they're not the right scale in resolution and size. Um, for an example I'll show you here I've got this 3D model hut in 3ds Max here with the textures haven't been applied yet as you can see. Now when I hit the material letter you hit M to bring up the material letter you'll see the materials are in there but they're all JPEGs and UDK doesn't take JPEG files it only takes BMP bitmap or J, uh, sorry, or TGA target files or PNG files. They're the only three that I know Unreal Development Kit accepts with your models and textures, with the textures inside the models. So these have got to be changed. These are the textures and they've got to be converted, they've got to be removed out of that men out of the material editor but to do that first what I do is I'll close that uh, where are we? and I'll show you the materials in the folder where the model is uh, that's the model there that I've got opened African hut and the textures it's got in it is that stucco one for the walls because it's an African hut and I think it's got stucco there on the floor and it's got that opacity texture, the roof par actually I'll show you the roof first, that's the roof material texture that's the bamboo on the roof <coughs> bamboo grass on the roof and that is a JPEG that is, the stucco is a JPEG and stucco 2 is a JPEG and this roof par is also a JPEG. We need to turn them into TGA because that's the recommended format for UDK at the moment. Um, this roof par one, what this does is turns all that white bit where you'd have your, your static mesh underneath the texture, it turns it invisible where it's black. So all that black bit is when it goes over the top of this texture it'll turn all that invisible, all that white part. So now we've got to convert them so I go to Photoshop and I'll just do one of them for you. Um, file, open, where are we? Uh, desktop, desktop now the African folder, Afro Hut Mix, that's where my thing is. Now, you can see here I've already converted them for the updated model into target files, that's what target files look like. And I've made uh, added extra textures in there. But, um, I'll show you the basics, the basic textures that I got when I first got this model. And it was that on there, I'll uh, I'll actually demonstrate this floor model because it's a texture that I don't really need because I'm deleting the floor. Um, right, click open on that. That's a JPEG, and I want to convert it to Targa, so I open it, and I want to make sure the scale is right too. Now normally these things, if you, to scale it, you click image up there on your Photoshop and then you click image size and you'll see the scale. Now the scale with UDK have got to be in the power of 2. They've got to be either size 256, 512 or 124. Uh, sorry, 1024 or 2048 in that 
in that sequence. <clears throat> um, otherwise, the Unreal Development Kit won't accept them. Now, this this pile size is odd numbers, 300 by 208, so it's got to be changed. So I'll make that. I'll make it, um, and you've got to get it close, close to what the what the scale you're going to make it at is. So what's close to 300 would be 256 each way, 200. Uh, 256, I'll make it 256 by 256 because it's 50 bigger and 50 smaller, closest to the 200 and 300. Right, 256. And 256 down here as well. And then I click OK to that. And yeah, the power of two also means square. So if you if you get a really if you get a picture that say uh, one thousand by five hundred, you'd have to make it five twelve by one o two four to make a rectangle. It'd have to be the power of two. I think you can go four times. The length, if you want. Um, but anyway, uh, now what I've got to do is convert this JPEG into a TGA. It's very simple. You just go straight to Save As. Now, the file name is called Stucco. And I'll give it a different file name. Um, before I do that I'll select Targa right click on the menu there that changes the file, it's got all the file types there's PNG, you can put it to PNG if you like but Targa is, is better or BMP, that's bitmap um, Targa is this one, this is the recommended one now Star I don't even have to change the name because it's changed the file type so I'll change it to Stacco Targa Stacco Targa CGA sorry right now save it in the folder where it come from where your rest of your texture files for that model are now don't go over 24 bits pixels because it won't work Click OK. Right, that's got that. Now we've saved that as a TGA file. Close that. Now, um, it should be down here now. There it is there. That's it there. That's the file we just made. So it's a Targa TGA. Now, minimise that, and I'll bring me photo, me uh, 3ds Max up, and you'll see here these are all. Uh, I'll I'll do the Targa one for. I'll do the one we just changed first. Click on that one because that's the material that I just changed. And you'll see if you click this parent thing here, you always click that to bring the parent up. Uh, 3D bolt. Now if I click diffuse, it, it should. Oh, maps, here we go. Maps. Alright, so I click parent. When I click maps, you'll see it's map 9. And it says it's stucco JPEG. That's the old file. I want to change that. So all I do is uh, click that, and then click the cl cross to close it, and affect material in both the scene and the editor slot that'll delete that material well it should do yes it did right now 
I go to bitmap because this is map 9 still double click on bitmap then go to bitmap up here again and I've got to get to my desktop where the file was a silly thing oh, where is it Apro Hunt Mix Stucco there it is, Stucco. Right, click Stucco, that the file that you made. Uh, click Open. And then you click the tech place where you want the texture to go. So it's the floor. So I'll apply the texture. That's applying that green thing there. And to see the texture you click this little box next to the other one and it, it displays the texture now if you unclick it again it'll take the texture off right it doesn't take it off it just stops displaying it in your render um, now there's another texture here uh, where is it the the one for the roof opacity I'll show you uh, where is it bloody thing oh, hang on I'll go to parent click on the parent to get back to your main menu of the material editor uh, right now. Yeah. Right, it looks like the roof material hasn't been applied. So what I'll do is I'll go to my materials for the roof. Now, now this roof roof material here has got two textures on it. It's got the the texture with all the grass, bamboo grass on it, and it's got the opacity texture which makes the jagged bits around the edges of this border here invisible uh, see-through so you can see through the jagged bits gives it a realistic effect so what you do is you go to here then you click on uh, oh hang on where are we click on maps right and I'd click or you can click on standard if you're going to make put more than one texture in this one of these boxes you always click on standard and select your textures from the pop-up menu and they, they end up in this bit here in this map section texture maps um, now want to put the diffuse in first the diffuse is the grass picture texture with the grass bamboo so I click in there and I go to bitmap um, bamboo fine where is it oh, shit. roof right roof is the texture as you can see there right I click that right now my roof textures in there now I want to go back to the maps and add the opacity map add the opacity texture map so I click back on parent make sure none of these others are clicked keep it on that one and click on parent and then you're back in maps oh yeah damn thing oh, click on parent oh, bugger it. just click on maps now opacity that goes here put a tick next to opacity click none next to opacity and then go to bitmap again and roof par this one here roof par is the opacity maps that makes the jagged edges invisible that's what all that black stuff's for it turns invisible right click that 
now you can see we've got the black stuff where the where it was white on the edges now when I click that make sure you got the roof selected because that's where you want to apply the texture uh, then you click apply just here where this green thing is oh hang on two-sided sorry um, better go to parent oh no I don't want maps where is it there we are two-sided I just minimized maps and click two-sided and I think you click two-sided shit yeah two-sided should do it um, sometimes you don't have to click two-sided but anyway uh, now if I click apply material it should work I haven't done this for a while now if I click on the show shaded material viewport there we go it worked as you can see the jagged bits are all there now my next tutorial will be part two of this one where it shows you how to um, <coughs> can fix this in put this into UDK and fix fix it in your material editor for UDK so don't miss part two of this tutorial um, right now what you do here is you'd save as and then after you've saved as export it as an FBX and export it in the same folder where the where the original file was where the file was that you're working on right that'll be enough for that tutorial I'll continue on con section 2 in a minute